Hi, I'm going to make a quick video here on one sheets that go out to program directors and music directors of radio stations who receive music for potential airplay. A friend of mine asked me about one sheets and instead of just sending a bunch of pictures to him, I thought I'd make this real quickly and show some examples and then that way he and everybody else could get some ideas on them. What a one sheet is is a one sheet of paper that comes with a CD that is sent to a radio station. So for instance, these this is a stack of what I got the last week, missing three or four. And each one will come with a, a one sheet. Here's the uh, Fred Eaglesmith one sheet. I kind of like this one that is just one side. And it has uh, the standard tracks that are on it. Uh, this one doesn't have, but anytime you have a song that may have an FCC violation in it, a curse or excretory function or something along those lines. It's always good to have that here. There's a couple of uh, quotes about the artist here. Uh, a quick bio. A cover of the CD is always good to match the programmer's eyes and mind uh, to the CD that's, that's along with this one sheet because sometimes these things get separated. But one thing I always look for is uh, the tour dates because I want to know if this artist is coming to our area and if so that may influence my programming because I can add the artist, contact them, say come through the station, and so forth. So here's just your basic one sheet. And of course they can get quite elaborate depending on who has how much money. Here's another one sheet. Now what's different about this one is it has an impacting radio date on it. A lot of times there's a lot of coordination put into when an album comes out. Everybody that releases an album wants it all added by the stations at the same time and then it's gonna there will be other promotional efforts uh, ads and magazines and you know tours and everything is set up on these release dates but here's one with just a picture and the artist and the album a few quotes about them and then uh, contacts are always important down at the bottom uh, one of the standard ones you've gotten for a long time, Rounder, tends to have a format. Of course, once you get a template set up as a label, you can do them however you want to. And there's the label, of course, the artist, uh, featuring these couple of songs, which seems to be the best one as far as they're concerned. Other places that are playing it, like NPR. A little quick information about Pokey, Lafarge. And then I look at the back and say, okay, well, Pokey's not on our... We're not, or Oklahoma's not on his tour schedule, but that doesn't matter. We're going to play him anyway because we've supported him for a while. And then all the radio contacts are down here at the bottom. Uh, some of them graphically can be very nice and I'm sure take a lot of time to do things like that one. And then the whole back page is just the tour dates here on the Vandaliers. And again, Oklahoma gets skipped over as often happens being Oklahoma's kind of travel day. I always look out for the alligator ones. You get a letter from Tim Colleth kind of telling you what's up with the album. But then uh, they put out a poster quality one sheet that is the artist and the quote about them maybe and the cover of the CD. And then the back is a whole almost magazine-like article about the artist. And what we do with these often is put these up in the studio as a poster. Uh, but I do think it's a good idea to match up your one sheet with your CD. Uh, Jared Tyler, guitarist from Tulsa, who's done a lot of really great work with a lot of people. Uh, this is his new CD. And there is a colorful one sheet. It's almost like a poster. And then there's a typed one sheet. It has a lot of information about the album and so forth. And then also the tour dates on the back. So really when you're putting together a one sheet, and I could run through a bunch of them here. Here's just i I'm going to open this one up as a generic one. First one I hit. Name at the top. There's an ad date. Uh, radio contacts. Facebook and social media addresses. Focus tracks. Release date. Uh, explicit language in number six. So there is a, a notification that there's a track in there that might not be airplay ready. A little information about them, and then of course the website at the bottom. No tour dates on this particular one. Uh, just for kicks and grands, we'll pull one more out. Just as kind of a confirmation of the format. And this one 
is also one sheet. It's only one side. Again, tracks featured by NPR. Uh, records in your library, R-I-Y-L, things that might sound like this. That will give you some guidance as to whether or not you want to check it out or not. Radio ad date, May 22nd. So that's not until next week. Something about the album, something about the artist, who's doing the radio publicity. And there's that one sheet. Okay, well that's five minutes. That's enough of anybody's time on uh, some of the one sheets that I get and how you might want to format yours. All right, talk to you later. Doc Fo.